wie bei Logo anwende. Dear Logo User, today I will show you how to create a network project for Logo 8 from older Logo projects. Therefore, I have created two projects with Logo Soft Comfort version 6. Simple lighting controls. When I open it, I can see down here that this is a project in Logo 6. Double-clicking this icon opens the box and here I select the latest Logo 8. Now I can assign a new name in the Logo properties. For example, Ground Floor. I can assign an IP address which didn't exist in Logo 6. In this case, 192.168.0.50, the subnet mask, and then I press OK. Now I can easily make some improvements right here in my Logo project. We know that in Logo 6 I only had a text display with four lines of 12 characters each. That was already fully taken up by the trigger text. Here I can sort this a little better so that I can have the label directly above my function buttons. And I can also select that I want to use the web server. With that, I have now changed the first program to Logo 8. Let's first save the Logo 8 project. Right. Now we do the same with the second project. First, we change it to Logo 8. Then we add a new name again in the properties and call it First Floor. And the IP address is 192.168.0.60. Here too, we can change the text display. We will also save this as a Logo 8 project. Now we have two projects that have been upgraded to Logo 8. How do I now create a network project with these two projects? There are several ways to do this. I will show you the simplest one. I take Project 1 and simply drag it to the tab Network Project. The window opens and I have already previously done a partition of the work area beforehand. Now we take the second project and also drag it into the Network Project. We can see that we have two logos in our project and the work area down here is partitioned. I can now move the second project over and create connections between the two logo projects. That is easily done. When I want to press the function key 3 for the central switching function for both projects, I simply drag the connection to the second logo. I do the same with the F3 key. Conversely, I direct the signals from this project back to the first logo device. Now I have created a connection between the two projects. I download the programs to the relevant logo And the connection is made. I do the same for the second program.
Now I can use the various logo switches to control the lighting on the ground and first floor. Using the text display that I also configured, I can now switch the lighting via the connected logo device by pressing F1 and I press F3 to switch the lighting centrally for both logo devices. As you can see, transforming two projects for logo 0BA6 to a network project for Logo 8 is really easy. Logo. Simply ingenious, simply more.